Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome to a brand new major event in Family Guy, The Quest for Stuff. It appears it is called Fast Times at Griffin High. Now, this is an App Store update, so if you are not seeing this in your game, make sure you check your App Store, and if you don't see it, then chances are your particular device hasn't had it roll in yet. Peter is, I think, creating a high school or something, and then it's going to be a bunch of, I guess, movie high school people from from past movies and stuff, so that's that's pretty much it. Let's load this up. All right, so it finally loaded up. That took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but we got a Peter Griffin quest. We've also got stuff in the corner, and that is pretty much what we're looking at. So we've got a bit of like, a, I guess, a, a courthouse sort of deal with a bunch of trophies and stuff. It looks really, really cool. Bunch of different rooms. There's a locker room. There's a gym. The cafeteria is in not so good shape. There's the detention place, and there's some cars, and pizzas, and things of that nature, so... Looks really, really cool. Griffin High. I like it an awful lot. Brace yourselves, cause I have got big news! I love back to school time. It reminds me of my glory years in high school. I wish I could go back. Really? You had such a terrible time in high school. No way, it was the best. I used to cut class and hang out by the dumpsters with the cool kids who maybe eat their cigarette butts. Oh yeah, it was bad. I always misremembering. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Welcome back to school! There's an apple, there's a pencil. Learn about Griffin High and Peter prepare for science class. So the first thing we're going to do, of course... We're going to learn about it. That's a really cool font, by the way. School is now in session at Griffin High and it is only accepting the best of the best. Join cool kid Peter and the gang as they relive their high school days and protect their dream school from jealous rejects. And he's got a, he's got a spinner. And then it's October 4th, so a month. Oh, that was welcome back to school. I'll learn about Griffin High. And there's cool kid Peter. There's science nerds. Make radioactive cheese into hamster traps to catch what the hell. And trade hamster wheels for hall passes. Okay. At the security desk. And finally, Peter prepare for science class. <laughs> oh, sweet. We got 30 second quests. Lois, I've done it. I've opened my own high school. Welcome to Griffin High. What? You just can't open up a school. You need qualified teachers. Nah, all you need are grown ups who had dreams, failed at them, then decided teaching would be the easiest way to get summers off. Welcome to Griffin High, where all the students are the cool kids. Thanks for accepting my invitation, Cher. Cher Horowitz. It's from Clueless. Yeah, no big. I'm totally into helping people. Hey, remember how you stink at driving? Heh <laughs> Teenagers. I have not seen a movie in many, many moons. Science nerds are here. Get two pieces of radioactive cheese. Meet Griffin High's newest students. First off, though. We've got more quests. Yep. All right, it is time to become the most popular kid in school. Well, how the heck are you going to do that? The same way I do in the movies. A montage that ends with me taking my glasses off. But in all honesty, I got to keep my glasses on. I'm blind without them, and I can't risk eating my wallet again. I thought it was a brownie. Oh, I would love a brownie right now. Great cool kid Peter outfit. That is something we'll look at in just a second, because first of all, we got another quest. Am I right? Welcome to Coog, Cher. Things must be pretty different here compared to LA, huh? Not really, just like the people, the fashion, the food, the weather, the building, and the smell. It smells here. So, everything. Totally. Unlock Cher Horowitz. That's probably the person. Probably. Science nerds are here. And the rejected science nerds have released their science experiments on Griffin High. Send cool kid Peter or Ferris Bueller to drive off the science nerds. And finally, use your hamster wheels on homework to get prizes and recruit new students. Get two pieces of radioactive cheese. How's it going? We got a four hour quest for that, okay. We'll do that afterwards. But at least we know, at least Glenn Quagmire is required for that. Be Griffin High's newest students. Ooh. You know what I'm about to say, right? 
Is it timed? I don't know. So I looked it up and it is not timed, which is great. So let's, let's do this. It's that it's not timed. Hooray! Alrighty, again, we'll look at them afterwards. I usually like to leave the characters and stuff towards the end of the video, but now that we've got that all out of the way, it is time to look in the inventory. So let's see, we have got Fierce Bueller for 270 clams, and they drop, or they, or they clear, sorry, the nerds. Science class pewter statue, which always drops hamster wheels. We've got the hall passes as well. Lockers, there's cool kid Peter. This looks very similar to The Simpsons Tapped Out when they had the, the superhero event. Kind of at the same time the look of it. Shirts and cassettes and, and roses and, and buildings and things of that nature. Cool kid Peter. So let's see here. We get them from the blazing shirts anyway from Jerome and the clueless detective agency. It is Cobbin. 14 of the trucker hats, which are also common. Peter. Chris and Bruce, 13 backpacks, which are uncommon, Joe, and the scientific method of acting school, so we're definitely going to have to go and buy that, probably. And finally, cargo shorts, uncommon, Ferris Bueller's Parade Float, so this is for sure, out of everything, probably good to go for this first. Now, on to good old Cher Horowitz. So we've got... 10 of the homework by clearing the science nerds. We've also got the flowers or the, the roses. Yeah, we have 16 roses which are common, quagmire, and stepbrother matchmaking service. 46 lipstick which are rare. That is going to take some time to do. And finally, we've also got a building which is the Bunsen Beakers and Burners. Alrighty. Let me go back to this for a second. Let me check out this Clearing Science Experiment. Is this the actual nerds? They drop the hamster wheels and the homework, don't they? Wait to find more science experience. Well, that doesn't really help me, does it? We just got a really buff hamster. Yeah, give me. So we're going to do the cheese first. Watch this. One. Peter Griffin here. What do you got? What the hell it is? Can I help you? Three. Ooh, that's nice. That's wonderful. Four. All right, well, fine. That's good. Five. That's silly. And that appears to be it. So we have five characters that can get the cheese, and it is always, by the way. Thank you, Tiny Co. Thank you so much. Honestly, that is all we ask. If you're going to have drops like that, just make it always. At least in that regard, it makes it a little bit more easier for people to obtain things. You know, with all that work and not to get anything, that's really, really frustrating. So by making it always, at least that's one thing that we will always really like as as players. So, so far it doesn't seem too, too difficult, at least in terms of what we can do. We gotta clear the science nerds and we'll get the hamster wheels as well as the homework. But now we've got this area here that has all the buildings, I think. No. This is for the cheese, okay. So how do we get the cheese? Is that for the characters we sent off? Yeah, Quagmire, Peter, Mort, Lois, Bonnie, and that appears to be it. Oh, is it maybe for the nerds? It could be possibly for the nerds, I think. Because they talk about the nerds dropping the hamster wheels as well as the homework. So if they drop the hamster wheels, this is probably needed to actually clear the nerd, I think. So is this what the hamster wheels are for? No, this is a hole passes. And I can't get there yet. So what the heck are the hamster wheels for? Ah, oh, I'm so confused. We take the hamster wheels and we trade them for the hall passes. Okay. And then you take the hall passes and you trade them in for the different buildings and stuff that you need for the drops and stuff for the different characters. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before we wrap it up, there's actually, it says challenge and yearbook. So it appears we're going to get to be able to get an actual character, grand prize, Michael Pulaski, if we get all of these done. And it says it's going to be available on Monday, September 11th. And this is fantastic. They actually tell you when it's going to pop up, tell you what we're going to get for, for a grand prize. So it's very organized. And this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you again, Tiny Goat, for all this information. It really is beneficial to players because it lets us know what's coming, what we can achieve, and it can at least set us up for getting those particular things. The other thing here is a yearbook. 
So it actually tells us all the different characters that we can get. No more wondering what are we going to get in the next week. It tells you exactly what we're going to get. In the second week, Joe McLovin from Superbad and Glenn Quagmire. The third week is going to be Tay Frazier from, I think, Clueless. Dion Davenport, I think, from Clueless as well. Lois Griffin. And then the final week, Chris. Cameron Fry, which was from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I remember because he had the Red Wings hockey jersey. And Zach Sawyer, which is obviously a costume skin for Stewie Griffin. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. The character isn't timed. We've got a lot of organization, especially with knowing for the challenges. And of course, as well as the different characters that we can actually obtain as well. So this is really, really well done in terms of just knowing what we're going to get next and the setup and everything like that. So keep it locked here for when I'm able to unlock Cool Peter as well as Sheer Horowitz, which will probably be a little bit later on. But when I do, I will definitely have some videos out for you. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.